Friends, Jason here. This is the fourth in the series of 52 videos that I've committed to create for the year. And I have a question for you. The question is simply this. Why is it important for us to control what we focus on? That is to say, why is it important for us to control what enters our mind and receives our attention? Um, obviously, you might have an idea that everything that you experience throughout the course of a day, be it media, be it friends, family, be it, you know, um, newspaper, magazine, you know, be it nature, you know, anything, all of these things have the ability to shape the way you think and feel on any given topic at any given time. So the question is this, why does that happen and can we control it? Well, it turns out there's good news for us um, humans, if you will. The good news is this, science identified years ago that there's a part of the brain called the RAS RAS just stands for Reticular Activating System, fancy word you don't need to remember. But basically, the Reticular Activating System, or RAS, has a very specific function. Its job is to filter out things you really don't give a shit about at the end of the day. All right, so if you're not focused on something heavily in the moment, it will filter out that information. Why does it do this? Well, as you know, when you go through the course of the day, you're bombarded with hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of different stimuli in the form of your five senses, your experiences, etc., etc., so on and so forth. There's just not enough time in the day, nor is there enough processing power in your head to deal with all this stimuli. So what your brain does is it says, look, Jason Archer is focused on these three, these, these three things at the moment, so we want to let these three things through, and that way he'll notice them, and maybe they'll help him with whatever he's working on. Now I'll give you an example. Everyone listening to this is probably at one point wanting something really, really bad, where there was a new, you know, relationship, a new car, a new house, what have you. I can give you a very spe specific example. When I was in high school, I really wanted a brand new black truck, right? I had a very specific picture of what it needed to look like. I was able to save up some money, and everywhere I went while I was working to save up this money, I saw a brand new black truck beautiful black truck everywhere in every driveway on every street in every parking lot there it was well what actually happened was did, did the world just all of a sudden spring forth and produce an abundance of black trucks no that's not what happened at all what happened was I was so focused on seeing it and having it and wanting it that my RAS was filtering out all the other vehicles around me right so it just allowed me to see what I really wanted it it, it wanted me to know that I was in a place where I could eventually get one of these things and it kept showing it to me and kept showing it to me until eventually I got one right so that's really its job it acts as a filter so the second part of that question is can we control it well absolutely you have complete control over what you focus on during the course of the day now many people in the world today are shaped by headlines they read a headline and all of a sudden they formed an opinion about a topic with zero critical thought many people are shaped by the television there's a reason that programming is called programming you are fucking being programmed so at the end of the day it's probably not a good idea to to receive a lot of your information from the primary news outlets especially television because you're being hit on multiple modalities you're getting hit with sight and sound and the more modalities you get hit with something the more that thing worms its way into your subconscious and you start to believe what you are seeing and hearing, right? So this is one of the techniques that you can use when you're setting goals to really solidify yourself into a positive goal. Now I talked about the car example. There are ways that you know you can use this. Uh, for example, uh, one of my mentors wants his children to grow up believing that money is available to them wherever they go, whenever they need it, at all times. They want he wants his kids to grow up believing that money is easy to come by, right? Which when I grew up my family money was always hard to come by so I struggle with that right but what he's done is he's taken twenty dollar bills and he's just hidden them throughout the house you know in books in video games behind furniture on the floor in clothing they're just hidden everywhere so every once in a while one of the kids stumbles across one of these twenty dollar bills picks it up doesn't think anything of it it's just part of his day that he is supposed to be surrounded by money and he's gonna grow up thinking that money is easy to come by right so how could that benefit him when starting a business right when when forming partnerships right he's gonna be in a space where he's coming from abundance rather than scarcity right so that's one example of using this for the good 
especially when it comes to shaping your mind and shaping other people's minds, right? So my advice to you today, guys, is to understand the power of focus. Understand that your RAS is going to filter out everything you're not focused on. And one of the best things you could ever do for yourself is turn off the fucking television. In fact, disconnect it. You don't need it. It's not giving you anything positive other than, um, actually, nothing, actually. I was going to say something positive, but I can't think of anything positive. It's actually a drain on you, and it's a drain on your finances. You can get Netflix for 10 bucks. You know, a DVD player and a uh, television and Netflix. You can watch anything you want to watch. The internet has got any form of information you want. All the news is available to you there from multiple sources, not just the major networks, so you can get multiple perspectives. Turn that thing off, right? Start thinking for yourself. Control what you focus on today, and you'll find that your life will start to look different. The people that you surround yourself with will start to look different, and things will start to shape around what you want them to be as opposed to them being given to you by a third party. So have a good day, guys, and I will talk to you in the next video.